Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video, we are going to look at an EDC flashlight from the company Wubin. Wubin is a company whose products I've covered quite a bit in the past and today we're going to look at this X2. So the X2 being a unique form factor, a I would say well featured light. I haven't quite opened this up yet. So today this is an unboxing. We're going to look at the features, the overall quality. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Wubin who did provide this for review. And so again, as I mentioned, I have looked at a number of products from the company Wubin. Most specifically, a number of different EDC flashlights, in some cases, some headlamps. And here, this X2 is going to be an awesome EDC offering. And so as we get into this here, the first thing is this is nicely packaged. Now, you hear me say on my channel all the time, I don't necessarily care about packaging, but when something's packaged up nicely, you know they're paying attention to the details of the product when they're paying attention to the details on the packaging. And that's exactly what we have here with Wubin with this real neat and I would say magnetized almost it feels like a magnetized enclosure and I think it is it's light but it's there and very nice presentation as we open up the box here you can see right to the front so very very cool and so as we continue through the details again you can see as we open this up your informational pamphlet and details then a beautiful presentation here on the inside nicely packaged again the light itself which you will see is a unique and very interesting form factor. Now I specifically asked for this color gradient, which here they call gradient ramp. Now at this current time, they also offer white and black. And in the future, they're gonna have titanium versions, anodized and all kinds of other offerings. But again here, this is in the gradient ramp. Very, very cool and I like this quite a bit. Now additionally in the box here, you can see comes with looks like a lanyard strap so kind of a strap style lanyard this is cool I typically don't use these to be completely honest but this is very nice and in fact it's dual purpose and has this little clip so that's kind of neat how they did that and it's a very very nice strap so extremely well done they've had similar details on some of their headlamps which again i have greatly come to appreciate and enjoy and actually talk about dual purpose on the inside it's marked out in centimeters so you get a little bit of kind of like a ruler here that's really neat so all the way from zero through about 80 and this looks like if oh my goodness look at this oh get out of town this is a usb cable so not only huh is this a measuring device a lanyard this is the usb charging cable that is absolutely brilliant and so the cable again just so unique and nesting back inside so just really cool innovative fantastic from Wubin again remember what I said initially you know if a company's paying attention to the details on the packaging they're paying attention to the product inside and as simple as this lanyard is that's just an example of that so very nicely done now additional little detail here let's take a look and i believe this is going to be a cover which should double as almost like a red illuminator and yes as you pop this over the top very very cool so again simple yet effective we'll test that out in a little bit just briefly as i get into the paperwork you can see pulling it out this is the manual pretty straightforward not a lot to it and just a number of different languages as you make your way through the details now as we get deeper into the details on the flashlight itself you'll notice on the back side a beautiful pocket clip it's actually bolt-on construction so it can be removed and it's just a real nice clip oversized nice spring feels wonderful very nicely done the construction of this is impressive beautifully machined 
excellent overall weight. Just feels good. I mean, not super heavy, but you can feel that it's robust and it's well made. As we take a look at the head, you'll notice that it does have three LEDs and a little bit of orange peel on the inside, which is going to help to diffuse the light. This should strike the balance between a nice overall spot and a floody throw. So that will also be very interesting to see how it performs when we get it outside. Now taking a look here, if we pull that up, that does expose your USB Type-C charging port. And I've now since plugged in my cable into the car here. And that is a standard USB. And then here the USB Type-C cable. And if I turn the car on real quick and get the power going, you'll notice the red light indicating that this is now charging. So beautiful. Very simple and well executed. Now this is subtle and you're going to have to kind of take my word for it. But that's kind of magnetized there. So... As I go to put this back down, it's not like that's going to flop open or anything like that. So it's very cool. I like that design quite a bit. Again, unique, but very effective. And not only is that your charging port underneath, but it's also the activation button. So I believe if we press this four times, one, two, three, four, there you go. It came in the locked out mode. So at this point, you can see. The light is on, and as we long press, holding it down, low, medium, high, low, medium, high. Single press, light is off. Single press, light is on. So now again, as we turn the light on, single press, again, that is the low mode. So the low mode here is five lumens, long press, medium. The medium mode is 100 lumens, long press, high. That's 400 lumens. Double press, that's turbo at 1800 lumens. Now something to take into consideration, there are two versions. The black version is the only one that currently is using the Osram P9 LEDs. The black version will go to 2500 lumens, while the rest of them, or all the other versions, to my knowledge at this point, leverages a Samsung LH. 351D LED such as this and this only goes to 1800 lumens so if you went again with the black version you'd go from 1800 lumens on turbo to 2500 but 1800 lumens in my opinion for a small EDC style flashlight is going to be more than enough now a couple last talking points about the programming when the light is off if you long press that's immediately going to go into the low mode turn the light off. A single press will go into the memory mode or the last mode that you went in. So if I long press here, set that to high, turn the light off, single press comes back in high. Again, long press the low, turn it off. Now a single press, well, unfortunately for me, I find this is now coming back in that low mode. I don't need that. I need this to remember maybe medium or high. So if I set this to high, I want it to stay there. Turn the light off. I want to be able to long press into low, turn the light off, and then single press and get back into that high mode. But unfortunately, it remembers the lowest mode. I don't quite like that. I wish this was more like moonlight on the long press. And then I could set the intermediate modes so I get the benefit of long press into the lowest output and then single press into the memory mode, I do prefer that, which would then allow me to double press real quick into that turbo mode and get the benefit of three outputs with simple programming. Long press for the lowest mode, single press for my memory, and double press for that turbo mode. Triple press, that's your tactical strobe. Another triple press, that's going to be your SOS single press and off. Now the X2 also allowing you to change the programming in each of the modes. So for example, if I turn the light on into the low mode, at this point I am in the low mode. Now if I double press real quick, but hold it on the second click, this at this point will ramp 
And once it gets to the brightness that I like, you'll notice it goes all the way to the top and then all the way to the bottom and flashes again. And that's programming the low mode. So again, now that I'm still in that low mode, if I double press real quick and then hold it down on the second one, we're gonna let it ramp. So this is five lumens at the lowest. Now I'm gonna double press, hold down, ramping up. And then once it flashes, that's a hundred lumens. So now my low mode, when I turn this back on, it's now a hundred lumens. Then if I long press, here's my medium. I can adjust my medium from 100 to 400 lumens. So theoretically, if I double press, we're gonna let this ramp all the way until it blinks. Turn it back on, double press again, let it ramp all the way down until it blinks. Again, that should be 100 lumens. So theoretically, a long press is 100 lumens, and then another long press is another 100 lumens, but it looks like it may be just a little bit different. I'm not too sure. Long press, long press, long press, long press, long press, long press. Now I'm kind of lost because I don't exactly know what mode I'm in, with the exception being, if I long press here, it should be that memory mode. Long press to high, long press to low. So now I know I'm in the low mode. Again, double press. This should, as I hold it down, ramp all the way back down. Now I'm back to five lumens. So very simple, yet effective, and gives you the ability to fully fine tune each one of the modes, which is phenomenal. I've never seen that done before, and that's really cool from the X2. So now that we've got this out of the package and taken a look at the features, let's get it outside for some beam shots, and we'll head back to the studio for my final thoughts. And so now getting the X2 out for some field use. As I long press, this is going to come in in that low mode. So this is supposedly five lumens. Now if I double press it and hold it down on the second press. So one, two, holding it down. You'll see it's gonna ramp all the way up and flash. And then keeping it down all the way down, flashing again. So that's definitely at this point, the five lumen mode. Now this is a fantastic amount of light for a low mode, enough to navigate around easily. This is awesome for general sort of navigation purposes, seeing what's going on around in front of me. And you can see it actually does beam off to the left off of my house, to the right off of my fence line. Now as I long press here, that's that medium mode. So this is 100 lumens, keeping in mind the fact that this does have that triple LED, nice illumination all the way off in the distance, but it's the width of the beam. That's the impressive part on the X2. So you can see all the way to the left-hand side and all the way to the right, illuminating a nice wide beam. Another long press here, that's 400 lumens. Now you can see the light also casting down a little bit as I stand up here. And even as I hold the light, you'll notice that real flat beam. That's a nice quality beam casting off into the distance, but also down and wide. Perfect for navigation and general EDC purposes. A double press here, that's the turbo mode. So 1800 lumens, really lighting things up, up into the trees. You can see easily illuminating my entire backyard. This is an impressive amount of light. The light is starting to heat up, but you can see that there's not too much in the way of a hot spot. Just an even, wide, floody light illuminating everything all the way around, off into the distance, and then all the way up into the foreground. This is a very impressive beam of light way off into the distance, up into the neighbor's trees. A triple press here. That's going to be that tactical strobe. Another triple press. This is going to be that SOS single press off. Now just another quick demonstration here. Again, as I long press against the fence, you can see that again being that low mode. So a little bit of a hot spot. You can definitely see it more now that I'm tight against the fence, but generally speaking, it is a nice even beam. A long press medium, long press high, double press turbo, really lighting things up. Triple press, that's that tactical strobe. Another triple press, 
That's that SOS and another single press off. Very nicely done by Wooman. Now again, unlike other lights that have a low mode that's less than capable of general navigation, here you can see with the Wubin, more than enough light. Having the triple LEDs, this is fantastic for my ability to get around positively, no worries. And as I get to a darker area here, you can see getting away from my house light, well, no problem looking off into the distance as I beam out towards the fence line. I turn off the light real quick. Well, you can see it is literally pitch black over here. But again, that single press in that low mode, more than enough light. So the triple LEDs, even though it's only five lumens, fantastic output. I just briefly back in my office with the red diffuser, a long press. Here you can see that diffuser. Now that's a very subtle amount of light, very soft. As you see, basically still pretty darn dark, but I can start to make things out as I look around my office. Now, again, if I single press, turn the light on, that's that memory mode, a long press here. Well, there's that medium mode, medium in the red. This is fantastic. Now I could just leave this really standing up. This does have the ability to tail stand and it would illuminate an area, not kill my night vision. In terms of my ability to read, hard to say it's going to be a little bit difficult still, but of course, if I now pick up the light, yeah, that's more than ample. So again, that's the medium mode, another long press. Well, that high mode here, you can see more than enough light to illuminate everything nicely beaming off. You can make sense of pretty much what's going on. The mess on my desk and all my backpacks, everything in between. Now, as I table stand this and the ability now to easily read, that's not going to be a problem with that high mode. A quick double press, well that's the turbo really lighting this place up so you can see even with the diffuser, that's a ton of light. Now I'm curious over time if that will kind of heat up. This might not be the best, but that is quite bright. And again, the ability to really light things up. I can put that on the countertop and at this point I can see everything in my entire office with ease. I can read, I can move around, I can do my work, no questions asked. So. With the turbo mode, more than enough, but battery life would prevail. And not that I'd expect to do this, but a quick triple press. Well, at this point, you can see that is that tactical strobe, another triple press here, and the SOS. Now, this might be very effective if you're on the side of a road. That's a reason why, for me, I would really love to see this with a magnetized tail, because I feel like if it did, it would definitely have the ability to magnetize this on the back of a vehicle and really draw attention. Now, of course, you could do this with or without the diffuser, but in my opinion, with that diffuser, it is very effective. So, all right, guys, there you have it. A look at the Wubin X2. After a bunch of use and carrying this for a number of days, I definitely have to say I have come to greatly enjoy this. This is just a really cool light for a number of reasons. First, the form factor different from everything else I have, quite a bit different in fact, and I like the fact that that beam has that real nice broad wide head, really, really cool, an awesome beam casting nicely, not only off into the distance, but in front of me, illuminating everything just wonderfully. Second, the overall spread, literally perfect. There's not much else I would do. And in fact, if you went with the black version, having a little more punch in the higher lumens, I could see that being very enjoyable, but I didn't need it. I actually would take this really unique looking gradient finish for myself over the black. I think it's just cool. It's unique. It adds that sort of taste and touch and flair to my EDC. I just like this. I feel good carrying it and I love it. And then next, the little things that are just ingenious. The way they've done this with the cover, that little sort of magnetized click as it closes, opening up to the USB Type-C charging port with the lanyard cable, another little ingenious sort of aspect to this. Now, if there was one place where I'm like, ah, they just missed it. If this was a magnetized tail cap, this would just be a large 
honking, just heavy duty, high powered magnet. This would be over the top perfect, but there could be a reason why they didn't do that. I'm not too sure, but in my opinion, that would have been a nice enhancement. I kind of wish this was magnetized on that tail cap. But all in all, a home run with the Wubin X2. So again, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Wubin who did provide this for review. And for the rest of you, if you like this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel is growing quickly. I have a ton of videos up there. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.